Hey there, hope you're having a wonderful day. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Python with Visual Studio Code. So most people like to use PyCharm when they're writing Python code or Anaconda with Spider. I prefer Visual Studio Code. I think it's much easier to use and it's more convenient if you're working with other languages as well. So first we want to install Python. So what I'm going to do first is go to terminal or command prompt and check which version I have. So to do that, I'll just type Python dash dash version. And you can see I am on 3.8.3. .3. Uh, with Python commands, you can also just type pi instead of Python. It saves you four characters. So pi dash dash version. And we get the same thing. If you do not have Python on your machine, for instance, if I type Python like this, you might get something like this, where it says Python is not recognized as an internal or external command. So this just means that you don't have Python in your machine. So let's install that. So go to python.org, go to downloads and click this right here. For me, it says download for Windows because I'm using Windows. But for you, if you're using a Mac or a Linux, then it will say download for Mac or Linux. So click that. Okay, so now we have it downloaded. So click it to install it. And then just click install now. So after you have it installed, go to code.visualstudio.com. Make sure it's the blue one. It says Visual Studio Code, not the purple one, the blue one. So for you, it might say download for Mac or Linux. For me, it says download for Windows. So just click this button, whatever it says. And then now we can open it and you'll get this pop up. Just accept the agreement. Next, uh, you want to click create a desktop icon and then click next and then click install. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to click it, but just click install. And then afterwards, you should see Visual Studio Code on your desktop. You can double click it or you can drag it to your taskbar if you uh, are going to code frequently. So just click that and you'll see we have uh, this uh, setup. We're going to do create file and click Control S to save it. So I'm going to save it to my desktop. Let's name it test.python. So make sure you include the extension for Python. It's py or py. So let's save that. And in here, you can see your Python file. We can create another one. So let's do test2.py. And here's our second file. So make sure you include the extension. And in file one or test.py, I'm going to put print. This is file one and print, let's say 50. So this is just outputting to the console or terminal. And then for the other one, I'm going to say print file two and let's print 100. Okay, so you can see both of them are created on our desktop. We go on terminal and we type in Python or Pi and we go to the directory of our file. So desktop slash uh, test.py and you see this is file 1, 50 and I can do test 2 and this is file 2, 100 or you can just change directory to desktop and type pi test.py or python test.py either one works and we can do test2 as well so this is how you would run your uh, python files but with visual studio code we have an editor so let's not do that we have our built-in terminal over here and we can just copy and paste the command we did so cd desktop and just do pi test.py and you'll see this is file 150. Okay. But you might have noticed that I have this run button over here. So I can just click this and it will execute that command for me. So I don't have to type all that. I just need to click this button. You probably don't have this button. So let's go install that. So go to this block here, extensions. First thing you want to do is install Python. So search for Python and look for the one by Microsoft and click install. And then afterwards, Look for code runner. It's the one with this logo. Just click install. And then after you install this, you should have this run button over here. And then now you can just click run code. Uh, when you run your code, it might not output to the terminal. It might output to the Visual Studio uh, built-in console, the output console. And the problem with this is this is a read only console. That means if you were to ask the user for an input, you can't type anything in. You can't type in any commands. We want it. We want to set it to the terminal. 
So to change it to the terminal, go to this gear icon, click this icon and click settings. And then scroll down until you see right here, code actions on save, click edit in settings.json. And then what you want to do is you want to add this line. I will copy and paste this into the description. So code dash runner dot run in terminal, set it to true. And then afterwards, when you hit the run button, it should go to the terminal. Okay. And another thing you can do is we can put these files in our folder. So let's create a folder here, new folder. Uh, let's call it Python files. So I'm going to drag these two in here. And then now I have two files in my Python files folder. I can just drag this onto the Visual Studio Code icon. And you can see over here, I have these two files. Okay. And if you don't want to do that, if you have it somewhere else that is not on your desktop and you don't want to go through your directories to find it, you can just use the terminal and just go CD. So I'm already in the desktop, but if you're not in the desktop, just go CD desktop. And then CD stands for change directory. So CD to your folder. So in my case, it's Python files and just type in code dot. And then this will open up Visual Studio Code. Okay. So that's how you set up Python with Visual Studio Code. If you enjoyed this video and it worked for you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more updates on uh, Python tutorial videos and all that fun stuff. All right. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you later. Bye.